Americans, the U.S. troops withdrawing from uh, Bagram Airfield, the air base there in Bagram, ending com the combat role after nearly 20 years of war, as troops will now focus instead on protecting American diplomats, advising Afghan forces, and supporting counterterrorism efforts. Joining us now to talk more about it is former U.S. Army National Guard sniper and congressional candidate in Oregon. We were talking about Oregon just moments ago, Alex Scarlatos. Alex, thank you so much for joining us, and welcome back to Wake Up America. It's nice to have you with us. Oh, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate it. So you served in Afghanistan. Uh, what do you make of the withdrawal of troops from Afghanistan in general, um, shooting for now August for that to happen, when previously the Biden administration had pushed it to September 11th, but specifically this weekend, the withdrawal of all the U.S. troops from uh, Bagram, Bagram Airfield? Well, to be honest with you, I'm actually excited that we're finally getting out of Afghanistan. It seems like that war has, I mean, it's dragged on since I was in the third grade, and now I'm a congressional candidate. So I think most people are happy to see us finally leaving Afghanistan. Uh, that being said, uh, we definitely do serve a purpose there um, when it comes to keeping the peace in the country, and especially as a strategic asset being close to China and in the Middle East and the location that it is. I mean, it is important, but to be honest with you, I just don't think it's worth the cost in terms of American lives and money. Right. I, I spoke with uh, President Trump over the weekend, and I asked him specifically about the troop withdrawal from Bagram in Afghanistan because President Trump had been against these, what he called, forever wars and said they needed to end. We needed to bring our troops home. I asked him, was he a little concerned that the Biden administration has now taken over what he began, and is he concerned that they'll do it appropriately? Do you have concerns in that area that it's the Biden administration you know, completing what the Trump administration had said they wanted to do? Not particularly, to be honest. Um, like I said, I'm just excited to see us getting out. I think the real problem here is that typically politicians say that they're going to get us out of Afghanistan. Right. And then they don't drag on the withdrawal for years and it never happens. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I think we have some sound if we can jump to this um, from Army General Austin Scott Miller speaking about his concern of the Taliban uh, taking over. Listen to this. We, we should be concerned. The loss of terrain and the, and the rapidity of that loss of terrain has, has to be concerning. One, because it's a uh, war is physical, but it's also got a psychological or moral component to it. And uh, hope actually matters. So we already have violence on the rise in Afghanistan that was expected. But um, how real is the fear, or do you have a fear, as others have discussed, about the Taliban taking over again? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think the moment we leave, the Taliban will take over. I mean, look what happened with Iraq. And Iraq was a country that was much more susceptible to a stable government, and Afghanistan is not. The moment we leave, I do believe the Taliban will take over. Um, but it's always been that way. We have to make up our minds. Uh, are we going to stay in Afghanistan for forever? Or right. at some point, are we going to leave and leave them to their own devices, which unfortunately probably means the Taliban taking over? Um, it's really just two bad decisions. Yeah. So, so now you've moved from serving in the military to running for Congress, as you mentioned, in the state of Oregon. Uh, just finally, as we wrap up, your thoughts on, on why you're running for Congress in Oregon. I know that there have, what, been some crime uh, spikes, hate and bias crime up there in the state of Oregon. We had the Oregon governor talking about wildfires being racist just a short time ago. Why are you running? Well, really, I'm running due to specific issues facing people locally in southwestern mm -hmm. Oregon. One of them is the forest fire issue and the fact that we're not allowed to manage the forest and bring jobs and tax dollars into our community. And it's really hurt us incredibly in the long run when it comes to unemployment, drug use. We have some of the highest child abuse rates in the country as well. It's really just a, a problem that has carried on throughout the generations and has never gotten better. And, of course, you've seen fi our fire fire. Uh, our, our forest fires have gotten huge and almost a million acres burned in Oregon last year. And not only is that money that should be going into our economy, but you talk about the environmental impact as well mm -hmm. and the hundreds of people that lost homes this last fire season as well. It's something that needs to change. And yeah. hopefully, if elected, that's going to be my number one priority.
All right, Alec Scarlatos, thank you very much as always for joining us. We certainly appreciate your time. Thank you for your service as well. Thank you so much. Thanks. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.